who can, uh, who has leadership skill, and who is good in management like finance or like that. Thank you. Uh, thank you again, May. Very short but very focused to answer our question. Did a good job, May. May we uh, go to the next topic tonight. If you can write your own love story, what will it be like? I like I like her because he, he because he she she very love me and and also she she love me she like like me because I love you so thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Andre. I hope that is the true story. Andre, do you need to write something more? <laughs> This one. Is marriage is it more important to love or be loved? So easy. In marriage, is it more important to love or be loved? Who would like to volunteer?
more than to be loved. It's uh, it's the things that you you need to to do it first to to your spouse. So I believe that uh, to love other to love your spouse is it's uh, in marriage life. It's you you need to have this kind of perspective. I had experience about love, but I'm not yet married. Uh, I experienced experience that I was loved. I, I love my uh, loved one, my, my um, former boyfriend so much, but finally I found that I want, I want his love more than I love him. So this is so true. And uh, finally, God chose me that uh, I need to love with unconditional love, and I need to love God first. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that you will uh, find the one you love, and he will love you. Amen. How do you handle complaint in marriage? Everyone under the table now. Uh, may I go another girl? Who is June? <laughs> He's not prepared because he's not a Toastmaster after it. I bribed him. But if it. you want to try, <laughs> I think that the, the uh, OA is a fun. Yeah, you can try. Can try. <laughs> because I think uh, among us, you are more experienced. <laughs> yeah. Give him a, a big laugh. Sweetness and also bitterness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you for that. So, uh, in our marriage, sometimes we we had we had conflict that we uh, sometimes we uh, three things I'd like to, to give to you on how to resolve conflicts in marriage. The first one, um, when you had conflict, you should. You should talk with one another, talk, talk something that you conflict with, and uh, you know discuss something. What discuss something uh, when and what uh, discuss something about. No, talk with one another and uh, solve with one another because if you avoid that and you just escape that, 
you will not be longer to you know to understand one another. So it's hard to resolve that. The second one, you should give a chance to you know to explain it your spouse or your husband and wife. Just explain it one another so that you may also resolve the conflict. If you do not speak one another and set aside and uh, set an appointment with your spouse or with your husband, you will not resolve your your conflict. The third one, of course, you should also remember that. Um, the love that what we have, the God gave to us the love. Let us remember that in marriage, it should be. We, we don't have to forget that, that to love one another. In a marriage, every, every time, every second, you show your love with your spouse and your husband. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Dr. Master. <laughs> good job, Mahasa. Thank you so much. Okay. The next topic will be as you look for your lifelong partner, can you avoid being broken? Who want to volunteer? May I go? Those matter. <laughs> Give him a big applause. Thank you. I will beat you later. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do believe that if the answer is yes or if the answer to that question would be yes or no. I believe it can be avoided. That yes, we can avoid being heartbroken when we are looking. The context of this question, I guess, is when we are looking for someone, of course, we will get into relationships and then maybe later on we will find out that we are not meant for each other. And by the time we break up, we would realize that, oh, uh, or, or we would feel a lot of uh, pain because of um, a lot of things that have happened. So yes, it can be avoided. Something like that can be avoided. But the thing is, I believe that even if it can, it, if, even if it can be avoided, we don't need to avoid it every time. Why? I believe, I believe so because it is necessary. It is necessary that in, in, in life, not everything, life is not a bed of uh, roses, as they say. So it's necessary for us to be heartbroken because as we get heartbroken, it is then that we grow. It is then that we mature. We don't remain heartbroken forever. We believe in a God who heals our hearts, who heals the brokenhearted. And therefore, even if we, we get heartbroken at times because of opposite sex relationships or because of romantic relationships, the thing is we don't need to stay heartbroken forever. It doesn't have to leave a scar on, in our hearts because of our nature as Christians. We have God by our side. We have God who heals us. And the thing is we can, God is able to turn something that is that seems to be bad for our good. That's what the Bible says. So even if we, we can avoid to be heartbroken, we don't need to avoid to be heartbroken because it can be for our good. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much. Good job, I say. I agree with what he has. <laughs> what is the answer? <laughs> with this picture, what you can say? Who want to volunteer? May I call those mother Lisa? <laughs> give him, give her a bit of love.
would be the top promise that we, we need to uh, we need to uh, spend spend a long uh, a whole life to be together. But but what happened between us? Different two perspective. The, the first one we can enjoy. We can enjoy. We always together. We love together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we love together, and we cannot. We cannot. Um, uh, we cannot. Depressed. Ah, we cannot divorce. Ah, we cannot divorce. Yeah. And and the, the second. The second is. Um, Oh, it's hard to get along with each other, and they become painful. When we, um, when we cannot get along well, this became a burden and painful for two of us. So I think uh, very, very think, uh, many people think uh, um, okay, this can be this can be good. Yeah, so so sweet, always. Together, but other 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 perspective, it can be um, struggle and uh, re repent. Why I I get married with you? <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. And I remember last time she have uh, the talk about uh, love is commit to love each other. I think that is the good talk from this topic. Okay, the last topic. How will you describe your wife, your wife, husband, in two minutes? May I call those matter? Thank you, Philip. Hello once again. I am here to describe my husband. I hope he's not here, but since he's here, <laughs> never mind. I will not look at him. My husband is my childhood sweetheart. We were classmates back in college, and the recollection of those days were pretty much good because we were we were still young during that time, and we were so in love with each other that before we graduated, we became husbands and wives already, and so we we went into marriage early, young. And so we have four children, and we have grandchildren already. At the age of 50, I'll be 50 this, this year. And my husband is uh, all giving. He's all giving because for, for me, I, I classify him as the person who can give everything, who can give his time, his talent, his treasure, and everything without asking for return, I hope, <laughs> I hope. Um, why did I say that? When we were still, when we were still classmates, I was the first one to push through with this education. So I, so he, he gave me the opportunity to study and finish, and he supported me all the way. And as a Toastmaster, he is still supporting me. So throughout my life, I know he will support me, and I know that love will never fail because I know that my husband will always be with me wherever I go. And that is the description of my husband. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Toastmaster.
Cruz. Malu Cruz. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I can see how much you uh, uh, enjoy uh, table topics tonight. And I think that the, the theme for tonight is love, never fail. And I hope that uh, to answer my question, uh, no one will get angry to me. <laughs> and uh, my echo is uh, those matter of evening, continue our program. Thank you, Toastmaster Philip. Once again, let's give a hand for our Table Topic Master and every participant for a job well done. All right.